Hi friends and welcome to this progressive stretch where we will start standing and then move to a seated position and finally to the floor or the bed, whatever you're more comfortable with. Let's start widening the stance and reach an arm up and over for a nice side body stretch. We'll do this a few more times, alternating sides. Okay, let's raise the arms to chest level, hands touching, and we're gonna twist side to side. These are slow, gentle movements. There should be no pinching or any pain in the back. Next we'll do a good morning stretch. So we'll widen the stance. We're gonna reach the arms up overhead and we're gonna push the hips back and bend forward at the waist, really reaching the arms forward. You'll feel this in the back of the hips and thighs and you'll also feel this in the upper arms, the shoulders and the upper back. Okay, next let's widen the stance further and we're gonna do some windmills, touching the hand to the opposite toe. Go down only as low as you're comfortable going. Okay, now let's do some side lunges where we will reach the arms forward to stretch out the legs and the back, the upper arms. And we'll do this exercise a couple of times, alternating sides. Now using a chair for support if needed, we're going to extend one leg and flex the foot. We're going to lean down into the stretch so you can feel it in the back of the legs. And the more the foot is flexed, you'll feel that in the calf as well. And 
we'll switch sides. And now let's try a runner's lunge. Try to keep that back heel down or as close to the floor as you can so you can really feel the stretch in the calf. Great job. Now grab a chair and we'll get ready for some seated stretches. Sitting up nice and tall, let's start with some head rotations. We'll rock the head back and forth. Slow and steady movements. Now let's do some head turns looking over the shoulder and switching sides. Next, let's tilt the head back so we can feel a stretch in the front of the neck and then tilt the head down so you can feel the stretch in the back of the neck as well. Working out all the kinks in the neck. Now let's work on the shoulders. Big shrug here and release and rotate the shoulders back. And again, big shrug, release, and rotate the shoulders forward. Really tighten the muscles when you shrug and hold it for a second before releasing. I tend to carry a lot of stress and tension in my shoulders, so I find this relaxing and hope that you find it helpful as well.
Okay, let's reach the arms up overhead and we're gonna bring the arms down to our scarecrow arms. When you bring the arms down, try to pull those shoulder blades together so you can feel the stretch in the back. Okay, bring one arm across the body and hold it with the opposite hand. Feel the stretch in the upper back, shoulder, upper arm area. Switching sides. Rotate the wrists. And go in the opposite direction. Now we'll do some seated cat cows. Arching the back slightly, we'll stick the chest out, raise the chin so you can feel the stretch in the front of the chest and the neck area. And then we'll round the back, draw everything in, tilt the head down so you can feel a good stretch in the back of the body. Now cross a leg over to the opposite knee. Sit up nice and tall and lean forward so you can feel the stretch in the hip of the leg that's bent. And we'll switch sides. If you find one side is a little less flexible, a little tighter than the other, that's perfectly normal. Widening the legs, keep the hands on the knees, and we'll lean forward and rotate the upper body to get a nice stretch in the back. Now we'll widen the legs a little bit more and lean forward to get a nice stretch in the inside thighs.
And now we'll work on the ankles some. We'll flex and point the foot. Rotate the ankle one direction and then take it in the opposite direction. Great work. Now grab a yoga mat and let's get ready to move to the floor. We'll move to a supine position in a little bit, laying flat on our backs, but first let's start sitting up, pull the knees in and give ourselves a great big hug. Drop the chin and round the back a bit so you can feel a nice stretch in the back of the body. Then we'll move to a butterfly pose. You can leave the legs extended some for less intensity in the stretch or you can pull them in closer. Then holding on to the feet or even resting your hands on your knees if you like. Lean forward to feel a nice stretch in the inside of the thighs. Next we'll extend one leg and lean forward to feel a stretch in the back of the thigh. You can grab hold of the toes or rest your hands on your shins or your thighs. Go as deep as you're comfortable going in this stretch. And we'll switch sides. Again, it's okay if you feel a little more flexible on one side as opposed to the other, that's normal. Now we'll move to a supine position. Bring both knees in and we're gonna hug the knees into the chest again. And then rock side to side to massage the lower back. Next extend one leg and pull the opposite knee in close to the chest. You'll feel a nice stretch in that leg, but also the leg that's extended, you'll feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor. So try to keep that thigh and hip pressed down on the leg that's extended.
Now bringing both legs up, we'll do a happy baby pose, holding the outer edges of the feet. Or you can just hold the backs of the knees if you'd like. If you wanna pull down on the feet too, bringing the knees to the sides of the body, you'll feel a more intense stretch with this one. And then we'll bring the feet back down to the floor, soles of the feet touching, and let the legs just fall open naturally. This is a supine butterfly pose. We're practicing some of our yoga here. Bringing the knees back up, we're gonna let the knees fall to one side and we're gonna look over the opposite shoulder. We'll hold this position for a few seconds and then we'll switch sides. If you're not comfortable doing these twists, bring both knees back in for another hug and just rock side to side to massage the back. That's always a good one. Extending the legs down, we're going to cross the left ankle over the right, and we're going to take the right hand and grab the left wrist and gently pull to the side for a nice side body stretch on the left side. This is a crescent stretch. Some people call it a banana pose. And we'll switch sides. The right ankle crosses the left, and the left hand will grab the right wrist and gently pull to feel a nice stretch on the right side of the body. And one more time. Now bringing both knees in one more time, we're gonna give ourselves a nice big hug and rock side to side again to massage the back. Now extend both legs down and reach the arms way up overhead for a nice full body stretch. Scan the body, focus on any areas that you still might feel some tension and use your breathing to help loosen those muscles and try to relax a bit more. I encourage you to rest here as long as you'd like I hope you found these stretching exercises helpful and you feel more relaxed now. I'll see you soon.